Hangster's Hot Rods Muscle Car Showroom located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We are right in the thick of things. Uh, we have the beach five miles in one direction and Daytona International Speedway five miles in the other direction. So there's a lot to do here. We'd love to have you down and check out our showroom where we own all of our vehicles in this building. We are not a consignment dealership. So when you inquire about a vehicle, we're going to contact you directly and there's no third, par third parties to contend with. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. Find out if this car we're presenting to you today is a current piece of inventory or not. We leave all of our YouTube videos up at all times, whether we took the video a week ago or three years ago, the, the videos stay up. So if you're going to find out if this car is still available or not, you're going to either have to call us or you're going to have to check out our website, which is hangsters.com, where you can see... 80 to 90, maybe even 100 still photos of this car along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. Very cool color combination, very popular American muscle car, a 1970 Chevy Nova. This one is equipped with a 350 and a 4 speed. We'll show you both of those later, but chrome on the front bumper is outstanding. You do have the 350 designation here on the driver's side front fender that is for what is located under the hood, which is a 350. Uh, Nova designation on the driver's side front fender as well. Uh, the quality of the glass all the way around the car is very, very good. Uh, probably if there's anything to nitpick, it would be the back windows. There's a couple faint scratches in the back window that you can probably see in the still photos and in this video presentation that we're doing for you right now. Uh, dual chrome mirrors on the car with the little bow tie emblem on the back. Looking into the car, has a cool color combination offset. Uh, black and red dash, red carpet, red and black floor mats. It is a bench seat, black vinyl, obviously. The headliner in the car is brand new. You'll probably be able to see that in the still photos. Take a look at the back seat. The back seat's in excellent shape, too. The overall uh, interior quality on the car, very, very uh, nice interior. Even the door panels, you know, they're, they're all in nice shape. Um, none of the carpeting underneath the floor mats is discolored or dry rotted or have uh, any need for replacement. Really good condition. Uh, steering wheel looks to me, I can't say for sure, but it looks to me to be original. Um, but, it's, but that also is in very good condition. Overall interior quality of the car is very nice. It is a driver quality paint job. It is not perfect. Um, you know, there's a few blemishes, one of which I saw on the passenger side. I'll show you here in a little bit. But um, looking into the trunk, trunk's nice and solid. Just so you guys know, if there is no spare in the video and there is no spare in the still photos, then there is no spare with the car. Uh, it's about a 50-50 shot of what we get in here. Sometimes there's spares, sometimes there's not. This car does not have one. It's not pictured with one. It will not come with one. Chrome on the rear bumper. Same as the front. The front and rear bumper to me appear to be brand new. Um, SS designation on the center of the, right between the uh, driver and passenger side tail lights there. <clears throat> Door fitment down both sides of the car is really, really good. Uh, there's not excessive gaps or, or doors sticking out or anything like that. Um, this is the paint imperfection I was telling you about. I don't know what might have got dragged against there. You know, there's a little white scratch mark there. Um, we're going to leave it just like it is. We're not going to brush touch it or anything like that. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, the overall paint quality of the, the roof is, is good as well. Um, very nice driver quality paint job. Red is obviously a desirable color in the muscle car world. Looking into the car, you do see the four speed there in the floor. It is a floor shifter. Uh, again, a bench seat car, black vinyl. But the passenger side, same quality as the driver's side. The interior is a lot of it, I would, I would have to say, is new or has been done very recently because everything's in good shape from the vinyl to the carpet to the dash to the steering wheel. Uh, we'll find out later if the radio works. It's a newer radio, so I'd imagine it does. Most of the time those do, but we're going to find out later on when we do the test drive. It does have hood pins. I've already pulled out the hood pins for time's sake. Looking underneath the hood of the car, it's got a nicely dressed 350. Uh, the cowl tags there where you will see in the still photos. Uh, it does have power brakes, does have power steering. The car does not have air conditioning. 
pretty good looking car so far. Let's take it out on the rack and see what the undercarriage looks like. 1970 Chevrolet Nova Red. This thing's pretty underneath. Uh, front disc brakes. That oil pan is bone dry right now. You have a set of dual headers dropping down to a two and a half inch Flowmaster exhaust. Frame rails on the car look good. You know, you can always tell the uh, quality of a car by the way some things are done. To me, if I had to guess, I don't have time to break down the cowl tag. You people sitting at home do, more power to you. The cowl tag's on, online, you can break it down. Have fun with that, all you hardcore GM guys. But it looks to me like this car started life as a uh, automatic car, because it looks like the uh, floor was cut to have a four speed put in. And if that's the case, somebody did an outstanding job. Usually you see them and they're all cobbled up. This one's done really, really nice. Same thing with the floor pans on this car. The floor pans are in fantastic condition. Just a really good looking uh, floor pans on the driver's side and passenger side. Uh, Flowmaster mufflers in the back here. Rear end's nice and dry. I'm looking for issues, but I'm not seeing any. Gas tank appears to be new. There's no dents or anything going on there. Drop downs on the rear quarters look to be in good shape. Really good looking car. I'm going to take it out and see how it runs. But before we do that, I want to let you guys know that you can do this for yourselves. Uh, don't just take our word for it. Or don't take my word for it. Come on down here and check this car out for yourself or check any car out we have in our inventory. We own them all, so I don't have to ask anybody's permission for you to drive them or uh, you know anything else or anybody's permission if I can sell their car or if, for how much you know we do um, all of the sales and negotiating here in-house in our dealership. We are in a great destination um, whether it's just you or you and the wife or you and the wife and kids come on down to Daytona Beach. We're located five miles right in the heart of what everything is, is going on around here. Uh, the speedway is five miles to this direction and to my east there is uh, the Atlantic Ocean and world famous Daytona Beach. We offer financing on these vehicles. We work with three different collector car lenders to put this dream car or any dream car in your garage, any collector car in your garage or driveway or add it to your collection. Typically what they'll do is 10% down and a remaining balance over five, seven, ten years depending on the cost of the car, your debt to income ratio, your credit score, things of that nature and what you get approved for. We're going to take this out right now. We're going to put it on the road and see how it runs out. I mean it's beautiful underneath. The interior is beautiful, the paint, the red paint in very, very, very good condition, driver quality paint job. We're going to see how it runs out. I bet you it runs the same as it looks. Our 1970 Chevy Nova comes with General Motors inconvenience package. There is no horn, but there will be when it leaves here. I highly doubt the gas gauge is working because our cars are never full of fuel. And this one is reading full, so that's typically a sending unit which we will address also. Turn signals are working on the outside of the car, but not the inside. Driver's side, passenger side. Uh, wipers, they do work. Full speeds. And they park back where they should. Radio. Working. You don't have to ask if the things in the video get fixed because they all get fixed prior to the car leaving here. Um, the only things we don't mess with are radios and clocks and the occasional dome light. If it's a bulb or something simple, we fix the dome light. If it takes six hours to run wires and somebody's completely yanked the wires out of the uh, headliner and dome light and the provisions aren't even there, we kind of just leave it the way that it is. So far, so good. Let's see how it runs. This car's running out good. It has good acceleration. Steering wheel's right on the money in terms of accuracy. Steering wheel's real responsive. Brakes work good. The car runs through the gears nice. We'll show you that. The speedometer is kind of bouncing a little bit. It is accurate. What we'll have to do is we'll have to loop up the speedometer cable. That's usually what causes that bouncing effect on the speedometers. The car has good pickup too, we'll show you that here in just a minute. 
see how strong this 350 is. about 60 from what I can tell from this bouncing speedometer, but plenty of pickup. Strong motor underneath the hood. Like I said, steering wheel is right on the money. That's nice. Typically that's not the case on many of these cars. So These cars all have their positives and negatives, and we showed you a couple here on this car earlier, which we'll address, but good color combination. Red on the outside, black vinyl in, four-speed car, Nova. The Nova's always been a really sharp-looking, really strong-looking muscle car. We sell a lot of them. They're real desirable. We're sought after the Novas, the Camaros, the Chevelles. Uh, very, very strong muscle cars from the uh, General Motors brand. If you're interested in this 70 Nova, please contact us here in Daytona Beach. It is 386-944-9219. That's how you can reach us by phone. Hangsters.com is our website. Devin's going to put 80 to 90 photos of this car up for you today to look at. Still photos. You can see the cowl tag. see the undercarriage photos in the trunk around the uh, car to paint quality. As well as this video presentation we're doing for you right now. We would love to have your business. We are very successful at what we do because of our turnkey process. We offer free shipping at full retail price anywhere in the lower 48 United States. We offer a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty. No, you do not have to bring it to Florida. If you want to visit Florida, you can bring it down here and take it to somebody, but not to us because we don't repair them. But um, it's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. You have a $100 deductible, and the warranty company pays the remaining balance of the claim uh, for engine transmission rear end. And if it's like a Bronco or something or a Blazer or you know something with four-wheel drive, it also uh, covers that as well. We'd love to have your business. We'd love to add you to our growing customer base, uh, not only in the United States, but around the world. So please check us out, hanksters.com, this car, or any other car that you might be interested in.